Seen. Monica and Chandler final answer. Yes, they got married for four thousand dollars. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Have you made your summer vacation plans yet? How about coming to New York City for your vacation and a chance to win a million dollars, huh? Our phone lines are open, so stay tuned later in the show for all the details. Give us a call, and then maybe our show, Millionaire, will be your next travel destination this summer. That's exactly what Steve Reed did, and that's... Uh, what he's doing on his vacation, and how's the vacation going? We're having a ball, Regis. What'd you do for the last night, for example? Well, we went down to Times Square, had a bite to eat. Uh, my wife wanted to show me Grand Central Station. We walked there. We came back through Rockefeller Center and got back to the hotel probably 11 o'clock last night. So you saw some sights you wouldn't see in West Memphis. Very Arkansas. much. Yeah. I'm having a ball. I've seen things that I've dreamed, I've read about. but uh, First time in New York. First so. time in New York. Oh, good for you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, Steve is an independent insurance man right. and a formerly a farmer. Right. And, and just say that word for me that I love. Rice. One more time. Rice. Oh, good. <laughs> I feel like I had a full meal when you said that, you know what I mean? <laughs> I had rice for lunch today. Did you really? Sure. What did you say to the waitress? Give me some rice. Oh. And she brought you the rice. All right, Steve, you were here the other night and you won, what, $4,000? Right. Yeah. Well, good luck now. I want you to go all the way. And if you think you're as smart as Steve is, Prove it. Log on to abc.com. Play along with our enhanced TV. You'll enjoy it. Steve, as I say, has won 4,000, eight questions away from winning 1 million. And once he reaches 32,000, he's guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money. He has two lifelines left, 50-50, and he can phone a friend. Ready to go? Ready. Audience, are you ready? Yeah, we're all ready. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, Steve, we go to the $8,000 question. Here it comes. The last line of the Communist Manifesto encourages working men of all countries to do what? Unite, revolt, imagine, triumph. My answer is I not. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. You're right. I want to say hello to your wife, and thank you for bringing Steve uh, to New York City, Sherry. You two are uh, kind of newlyweds, aren't you? About two and a half years, right? Two and a half years, and, and uh, four children between the two of you. and Four uh, teenagers. And this is like your honeymoon, isn't it? It is. First, uh, good. first chance we've had to be together. That's nice. Ourselves. That's nice. Just you and Sherry and a bowl of rice. <laughs> Going for 16000 Here it is. Where is the Byzantine Cathedral known as the Hagia Sophia located? Rome, Istanbul, Herat, Cyprus. I'm going to use my phone for you. Sure, who do you want to call? I'll call Woody. What does Woody do? He's a junior high school principal. Oh, good, good. Maybe Woody's the man we want. Uh, AT&T, need Woody. Regis Philbin calling from who wants to be a millionaire. Hello, Regis. Got Steve Reed here, and he's doing well. He's going for $16,000. He's uh, got a question here that's giving him a little trouble. Don't worry, calling you. He's going to give you the question with all possible answers, okay? Yes, sir. All right, Steve. 30 seconds for right now. Woody, where's the Byzantine Cathedral known as the Hagia Sophia located? H-A-G-I-A-S-O-P-H-I-A. Is it in Rome, Istanbul? Milan or Cyprus? Milan, uh, Milan, what was the last one? Milan or Cyprus? Cyprus. The Hagia Sophia. The 
the Byzantine Cathedral. It's East Yes Sophia. We we think it's in in Istanbul. Okay. How sure are you? I'm pretty sure we're back. I think he said he was pretty sure. Okay. Well that was my first inkling I had of it. And uh I think Woody probably knows that. My answer is B in Istanbul. Final answer? Final answer. Woody knows it. Just one sixteen thousand. Okay, gotta get up there to 32,000, Steve. We still have one lifeline, and here it is. The famous 1980 box office disaster, Heaven's Gate, belongs to what movie genre? Romantic comedy, musical, western, horror. Regis, I know this. My answer is C, western, final answer. Yes, for $32,000. in your corner. Independent insurance man, formerly a farmer, uh, just married two and a half years ago to Sherry. And uh, Sherry, it's nice again to, to see you. And, and tell us how, how it came about that you two met. Uh, well, we had been friends for a long time, and our boys were the same age. And um, I, Steve had coached my son, and we just kind of one day it was more than a friendship. Just like that? <laughs> yeah, sort of. Just he must like have that. he must have grown on you, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Just one day I looked at him in a different light, I guess. Yeah. And how did that happen to you that you noticed Sherry? We've just been such good friends, and when the romance came into the relationship, it was uh, it's been great. But it's what was great... the magic moment that this happened? You were friends. Uh, you were the coach of her son. We we never told each other how we felt. I don't know if there were any feelings. All of a sudden, one night it came out. Uh, Came out of you or her? She, she doesn't remember. She asked me why I had never asked her out, and uh, I told her what my feelings had been. You told her what? I told her what my feelings had been. Oh, your feelings, yeah. Okay. And six, six weeks, six weeks later, we were married. No I'm kidding. Uh, you had deep feelings, didn't we? You? Were, well, we were best of friends for, I mean, you know, ten, twelve years. Uh, nice. Single parents. We had comparing notes a lot on raising our children and. Sure and had just shared a lot of good our memories or attitudes were the same yeah you uh, both like rice and so let's right. do it <laughs> now you got a full house there we both had a southern accent <laughs> we need to win some money here we got some college tuitions coming up we right do for my fact all right so here's where you are you won thirty-two thousand. you got a lifeline left we're going to sixty-four thousand five away from a million steve let's play <laughs> $64,000 starting in 2000. What U.S. state replaced traditional polling place elections with vote by mail? Idaho, Maine, New Mexico, Oregon. I remember this in the election, Regis. Uh, my answer is Oregon. D. Final. Final answer. Yes, the $64,000. Going for 125,000. Uh, Sherry, you getting excited? I am so nervous. Yeah, Sherry, Sherry's very. We're all nervous to Steve. All right, here it is for 125,000. Eric Blair was the birth name of what British author? Aldous Huxley, George Orwell, Noel Coward, E.G. Woodhouse. Regis, I'm gonna have to take Steve's picture. Why don't we do that, computer? Take away two of those problems, please. Huxley Orwell, Eric Blair. Great to say be a pure guess. I'm and you'd lose thirty-two thousand if you I'm gonna walk. You're gonna take a walk. Why don't you take a guess anyway right now? What do you think? I, Orwell or Huxley? Huxley. No, it was Orwell. But here's sixty-four thousand dollars, Steve. There you go, buddy. Have a good one. to see. 
Steve Reed. Nice guy, huh? And I love his accent. I just gotta say it one more time. Right! <laughs> Finally out of my system. All right, but now it's time to meet our latest group of smiling faces, and they are... Scott Penn, Truro, Patrick Houston, Vicky Shaw, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Jolene Scow, Boise, Idaho, Deborah Lewis, Belmont, California, Jim Abbott, Palatka, Florida, Alvin Gold, San Francisco, California, Terry Moore, Indianapolis, Indiana, Scott Morgan, Chandler, Arizona, Bill House, Boise, Idaho, Barbara Garcia, Kennedy, Texas. Okay, congratulations, everybody, on getting this far. Now, let's see how you handle tonight's first fastest finger question. Here it is. Put these songs in order that made the Billboard Top 10, starting with the most recent. Unbreak My Heart, Nothing Compares to You. Oops, I did it again. Beat it. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the most recent song, and it was, oops, I did it again. Uh, Unbreak My Heart. Uh, nothing compares to you and beat it. That's the right order. Let's see. We have a winner, too. Jim Abbott is the winner. Hey, Jimmy. Let's go, baby. Come on. Come on. So, it's Jim Abbott from Palatka, Florida. Nice to have you here, Jim. Congratulations. What do you do? I'm an office manager for a plumbing contractor. Plumbing contractor. Right. All right. Good enough. Well, welcome to the show. You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's get right to it, okay? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Jim Abbott. $100, Jim. Here it is. Which of the following would most likely be put in a toaster? A bagel, turkey, whole pig, wet socks. That would be bagel. You should. I'm a little nervous, but I think that's the only thing I put in the toaster, so final answer. <laughs> I'm going to make that your final answer. Yes, you got it for $100. Okay, Jim, check this one out for $200. A fair offer is commonly described as what kind of deal? Triangular deal? Square deal? Rectangular? Extremely rare deal. <laughs> These days, it might be B, but uh, we'll go with B, square. And you just won $200. He goes to 300. Which of the following is the term for the wooden boards used in framing a house? Studs, hunks, foxes, termite chow. That would be studs A. Just won 300. $500. The hooked on phonics educational tool helps young children improve what? Writing, drawing, reading, computing. Don Phonics works for me. It's best reading, rewriting, yeah, phonics it. Um, reading, see? Yes, it's reading. Five for the dollar. We're going for a thousand. Tiffany lamps are famous for their lampshades made of what? Stained glass, amber, rice paper, silk. There's that rice again. Yeah. Uh, I'll say stained glass A, final answer. Got that one too for $1,000. We're going to take a break and we'll back here to get it all for $2,000. Jim Abbott from Palatka, Florida. He's an office manager for plumbing contractor. Have you always done that? Uh, no, the, the job I have now is actually the longest I've ever had a job. I've probably had at least 30 jobs in my life. No always. kidding. Yeah. So uh, I understand you've got some unfinished business with, of all people, Pinocchio. Oh, yeah. yeah. What happened? Uh, well, that came up in the uh, when they were asking me some of the unusual things that had happened to me growing up, and it, it must have been traumatic because I still remember it to this day. I was four years old visiting Disney World, and, uh, you know, childhood innocence, I was meeting all the little Disney creatures, and uh, I pinched Pinocchio's nose, and the little punk hit me. 
Pinocchio, yeah. what is that? Play that? Unheard of. Scar, scarred me. I can't believe it. Yeah. He must have been, it must have been a love town. No. Because no. uh, I've known Pinocchio. That's why Pinoc I jobs. Wow. I've known That's Pinocchio scarred. all my life, and he's never hit anybody. Yeah. yeah. So what him. are you going to do about it? Yeah, if I win a million, I'm going to track him down. <laughs> boy, oh boy, poor little Pinocchio doesn't know what he's in for. Well, you won a thousand so far. Yeah, We're going for two thousand, Jim. Let's play. Two thousand dollars. In the 1997 movie Goodwill Hunting, the title character turns out to be a genius in what field? Mathematics, physics, computer science, economics. indoor shopping center is located in what U.S. state? Michigan, Minnesota, New Jersey, California. Again, that's another one I'm pretty sure of what it is. I feel like an idiot about these lifelines in this one. We need those lifelines later on. Right. Good point. Unless you don't, unless you're really not sure. I got a pretty good idea. we we'll go with B, Minnesota. Final answer. Yes, it's Minnesota. Right on the side of Minneapolis. Here it is for eight thousand dollars. Take a look, Jim. Inventor James Watt, known for his work on the steam engine, devised what unit of measure? Joule, fathom, knot, horsepower. A, B, C, or D, vote now. Fifty-eight percent say horsepower. I'm glad I pulled the audience. That's not what I thought it was. That's a pretty, pretty high number. I guess I'll go with D, horsepower. Final answer. Audience is right for eight thousand. Bill has two light lines, and here it is for 16,000. The actor who portrayed Officer Judy on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour went on to play which of these characters? Max Hedrill, Dame Edna, Super Dave Osborne, Buster Blankett. I have no idea. I have to use another lifeline. I've never seen the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. Um, I think I'm going to phone a friend. Who do you want to call? Um, I can call my friend and employer, John. John? The guy who uh, put, put you on his payroll. That's right. All right, let's get John on the line, at and see if he can help us. Hello? Hello, John. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from New York City. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I've got your man Jim here, and he's calling you for a little help. Okay. Going for 16,000. He'll give you the question and the four possible answers, all right? Okay. Okay, Jim, it's all yours. 30 seconds. John, who portrayed Officer Judy on the Smothers Brothers comedy album? No, that's wrong. The actor who portrayed Officer Judy on the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour went on to play which of these characters? Max Headroom, Dame Edna, Super Dave Osborne, or Buster Poindexter? Oh. How, how, do you feel anything about this at all? Do you know anything about this, Jamie? No. That's why I'm mm. calling you. Yeah. I remember the character vaguely. It's been a while. <laughs> well, that was one of you. Well, it has been a while. It's Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour it was more than yeah, 30 years ago. You narrow it down by two, Jim, if that helps. Oh, 
Mahoney's 50-50 on my score. Why don't we take away two of those wrong answers, please, computer? Leaving Dave Edna or Super Dave Osborne. You know either one of those two characters. I know Super Dave, also Dame Edna. Susan Faludi's 1991 book, Backlash, examines the media's negative portrayal of what political movement? Environmentalist, feminist, organized labor, anti-war. I'm going to say the environmentalist movement. I don't know why. I can't imagine the media portraying any of those other ones in a bad light. I don't think about it. Now what the heck? Environmentalist. Final? Final. No, it was the feminist movement. Too bad. We want to know something that's a good lesson for all future photo friends. When you get that call, don't ask the contestant for the answer. <laughs> that's why they're calling you. Anyway, Jim goes home with $1,000. We wish him well. And now we have more contestants itching to get into that hot seat. So here's the next fastest finger question. Put these U.S. tourist attractions in geographic order, starting in the West. Disneyland, Graceland, Rockefeller Center, Yellowstone. All right, that time is up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting in the west, and it's uh, Disneyland, then Yellowstone, going east, Graceland, and finally Rockefeller Center. Let's see who got it right. That is this time, the winner is Vicki George. She's a stay-at-home mom, married 13 years, two children, 111, 18. They watch the show together. Been watching her for a couple of years now. And finally, mom is here and in the hot seat. And you're accompanied by your mom, Pat Debrow. Nice to have you here, Pat. All right, so you're all set, Vicki. Okay. You've been watching for a couple of years. Let's yep. see what you can do, Thank okay? You. you know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play who wants to be a millionaire. One, hundred, dollars. Which of these would most likely be used to unclog a drain or pipe? Flamethrower, plunger, axe, prayer. That would be B, plunger. Final I, answer. Yes, the plunger. That's what you would do. And now, take a look at this question for $200. Someone who sings karaoke badly would most likely be told, don't quit your what? Day job, piano lessons, Football practice, group therapy. A, day job. Final answer. That's what you shouldn't quit. One, two hundred. Going for three hundred dollars. What is the name for both the credit card company and documentation needed to get into certain foreign countries? A MasterCard, Visa, American Express, Players Club. That would be B, Visa. Final answer. Yes, three hundred dollars. Going for 500. Which of these medical conditions affects the skin? Bronchitis, laryngitis, tonsillitis, 
Dermatitis. Um, dermatitis D final. Yes, dermatitis. Dermatitis. Five hundred. Going for one thousand dollars. Which of these animals has a beak? Cat. Hamster. Turtle. Rabbit. Well, the cat might have a beak if it ate a bird, but I think in this case the answer would be C. Turtle. Final. Turtle, the right answer for one thousand dollars. So good, let's move on. $2,000, take a look. In 1959, Mary Gordy founded what famous record label? A&M, Arista, Blue Note, Motown. I could guess, but since I have lifelines available, I don't think I'm going to try that. Uh, I would like to ask the audience. Audience, we need some help for Vicky. If you're ready. On your keypad, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. So 78% called it Motown. That's what I was thinking to start with. Um, I'll say D, Motown, final answer. And Motown is the right answer for $2,000. Thank you, Lord. Going for 4000 Chinese American dish chow mein usually consists of meat and vegetables served over what? Fried noodles, egg rolls, dumplings, thin pancakes. Well, if they make this like my mother used to make this, that's it's, you, man. <laughs> it's uh, a fried noodle. Final. Final. Just like your mom made it before Hey, Eight thousand dollars. Coming up. Farsi is the official language of what country? Nigeria, Yemen, Pakistan, Iran. Once again, I have an idea. But I'm not sure. I think I'm not in the guessing mode. Uh, I think I'd like to phone a friend. Ooh. I would like to phone Bob. What does Bob do? Bob is a retired engineer, and he is my father-in-law. All right, fine. Let's get Bob on the line, AT&T. Hello. Hello, Bob. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from the Millionaire Show. How Hi, you doing? how are you, sir? Good. I've got Vicky here on the hot seat. All right. Going for 8000 needs your help, okay? Good deal. All right, here you go. You've got uh, 30 seconds. Vicky, and they start now. Hi there. Uh, we need to know, Farsi is the official language of what country? Nigeria, Yemen, Pakistan, or Iran? It's Farsi. Got to be either Iran or Pakistan. That's yeah. Those are. <laughs> um, I Basic. Would, my my best guess would be Pakistan. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. <laughs> that is the way I was leaning, and I'm willing to go ahead and take a guess on this one. He really knows what he's talking about. Uh, I'll say C. Pakistan. Final answer. Well, he may know what he's talking about, but he didn't know the answer to this one, Pat. I'm so sorry. It's Iran. Iran, so you leave with a thousand. It's a thousand dollar day. Oh, boy. Another photo friend bites the dust. Didn't come through at crunch time, but Vicky still leaves with a thousand dollars. Hope she has a good time in New York while she's here. Now, let's see how the rest of our contestants perform under pressure. Here's the next fastest thing a question. With these TV series in order by their original debut, starting with the earliest. Everybody loves Raymond, full house, my wife and kids, family time. Okay, we're all set back here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest series, and it was family time. Full house. Everybody loves Raymond, and finally, my wife and kids. Let's see who got it right. The winner here, the winner is... Yes, Scott Camden, yes! Scott, ready to go! When we come back, he goes for a million! Come on, Scott!
something out of that pet. Scott Morgan from Chandler, Arizona in the hot seat right now came bouncing out of that pastor's finger seat. <laughs> and and uh, actually, he's a minister for the last six years, right? Yes, I've been doing ministry in the Valley of the Sun for the past six years, mm -hmm. full time. Full time and uh, starting a new church. Yeah, we just started a brand new church. Is in it Chandler. tough to get something like that started? It's a lot of work, but in the long run, I think it's going to impact a lot of lives. But do you have a church right now? Yeah, well, not an actual building. We meet in an elementary school. Mm -hmm. uh, but you got you start with scratch and you build from there. And yeah. Trust God the whole way. And how many parishioners do you have? We have about 100 adults. Good for you. And what did you do before you became a minister? Before I was in full-time ministry, I worked for a hotel company, and I was their limo driver. Uh-huh. And I uh, had the opportunity to drive several famous people around the valley. Yeah? Like who? Uh, Muhammad Ali. That was oh. one of my favorites. I actually took care of him for a week. Good. And, uh, That's an experience. Yeah, Eric Clapton, uh, Margaret Thatcher, Michael Jordan, you name it. And you're accompanied by your wife, Lori. Nice to see you, Lori. Hi. Lori, are you actually you're still playing in a band, aren't you? My wife and I have a band that actually leads the music at church, but we also do a bunch of youth events around the area. Uh, terrific. Bumper Fish. Yeah, Bumper Fish is the name of the band. Okay, Scott, good luck to you, all right? You know the rules, you know the lifelines. Let's play who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> all right, we begin with that $100 question, and here it is. Which of the following words means both official military position and really smelly? Crew, rank, staff, Pew. Oh, I know what a pew is. Uh, let's go with uh, B rank final answer. Right for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Here it comes, Scott, for two hundred dollars. Check it out. Which of these foods grows in stalks? Tomato, celery, carrot, meatloaf. B celery final answer. Got that one too for two hundred dollars. <laughs> $300. According to Darwin's theory of evolution, human beings descended from what animal? Sheep, mosquito, ape, snuffleupagus. <laughs> well, um, if you believe this, but C, ape, final answer. Got it for 300 $500. A 1936 Cole Porter song declares, I've got you under my what? Nose, skin, thumb, heart. Big fan, B, skin, final answer. Got it for $500. Here we go, Scott, for $1,000. Check it out. The 1979 movie, The Amityville Horror, recounts unnatural events occurring in what setting? Swamp, church, forest, house. D, house, final answer. Got that one, too, for $1,000. Here it is for 2000 Pima is a type of what? Cotton, grass, corn, tomato. I feel like I should know this, but I'm blanking. Um, let's pull the audience. He's one of my like. All right, audience, we need some help. If you're ready, on your keypad, using A, B, C, or D, Vote now. Fifty-five percent say it's cotton. Let's see, grass came in second of twenty. Yeah, I was leaning. Uh, I was leaning towards cotton. Um, let's go with A, cotton. Final answer. Cotton it is for two thousand dollars. All right, Scott. We keep going. Here it is for four thousand. What is printed in the center of a standard bingo card? You play bingo in your church? <laughs> no, we don't. Double play. Extra point. Pick a number. Three. D, three, final answer. Yes, before the... Stayed away from a million dollars, and here it comes for eight thousand. The Superfund program was created in 1980 by Congress to do what? Repair highways, clean up toxic waste, develop nuclear power, 
Improve math scores. I remember when this is being developed. And take your time now. Yeah. Repair highways, clean up toxic waste, nuclear power, math scores. Let's do uh let's do a phone number. What do you want to call? Um I do my brother Bryce. Bryce? Yes. What does he do? My brother's also in ministry. No kidding, no kidding. Got a couple of ministers here. <laughs> Let's get Bryce on the line, AT&T. Hello? 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 Hi, Bryce. Regis Philbin calling from uh, the Millionaire Show. Hi, Regis. Got Scott here. He came dancing out. Boy, he's on fire. Now, suddenly, he's got a question here that he's calling you for help. Okay. All right, so you told yours, uh, Scott, 30 seconds right now. Bryce, the Superfund program, Superfund, F-U-N-D, was created in 1980 by Congress to do what? A, repair highways, B, clean up toxic waste, C, develop nuclear power, D, improve math scores. Um, same again. Repair highways, clean up toxic waste, de develop nuclear power, improve math scores. Superfund program. Tell them how much Three time. seconds. I A, I A. I was leaning towards A. Uh, let's go A, final answer. No, it was clean up Scott. Oh, Scott, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but good luck to you, okay? Not again. Oh, what a night. I give anybody any advice for the rest of the night, don't use your phone a friend. Wow. Well, anyway, good luck to Scott and his ministry. And now our contestants are praying. They know the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put these animated movies in order by their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Chicken Run, An American Tale, Shrek, The Lion King. <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest film, and it was an American tale. Then The Lion King, and then Chicken Run, and now Shrek. Let's see who got it right the fastest time. Winner is Jolene. in delicious gum pendable available in delicious gummies Jolene Scow, I think you're our first non-celebrity uh, contestant from Idaho. That's right. Yeah. So anyway, uh, Jolene, the correct pronunciation of Boise is not Boise, it's Boise. Correct. That's the way you like to pronounce. And your husband, Patrick, sitting back there. How you doing, Patrick? Great. Great to see you. mustache on this guy. Yeah. He's my heartline. I've got the he's... lifelines at home. I brought him along. Oh, okay. He's your heartline and the lifeline is at home. Good enough. All right. So why don't we do it? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Jolene. Let's go. <laughs> $100, Jolene. In school, sub is usually short for substitute what? Teacher, student, classroom, submarine. A final answer. Right, for $100. Take a look at this one now, Jolene, for $200. In a popular 1990s TV show, contestants were asked to do what till you drop? Prop, shop, pop, belly flop. B, final answer. Got that one right, too, for 200 Keep going for $300 right now. The table of contents is typically found in what part of a book? Last page, middle, front, 
scary part. See, final answer. Yes, the front of the book. Table of contents, 300. She's up to $500. Which of these sports is sponsored by the International Hot Rod Association? Women's gymnastics, fly fishing, lacrosse, drag racing. Yes, Jolene, you got us $500. No hesitation here, going for $1,000. When a witness is exempt from prosecution in exchange for testimony, he has been granted what? Jeopardy, indemnity, immunity, culpability. See, final answer. Yes, you're right again for $1,000. just like that and here it is in horticulture which of the following is considered a succulent pansy iris primrose cactus see final answer you're right God, just getting started but that sound means we're out of time for the night but jolene will be back here soon now next week tune in for an encore presentation of our olympic edition America's finest athletes go for the gold in that chair. But hey, it could be you in that hot seat. If you're 18 or older, just pick up that stone phone and call 1-800-433-8321. There's a limit of one call per person each contest day. Log on to abc.com for all the rules. Phone lines close this Friday, June 29th, 2 a.m. Eastern Time. That means you have just one more day, so start dialing right now. Right time Thursday, coming up next from ABC News, so don't go anywhere. From New York, everybody, good night.